Hello, SQL Injection Flows. You are the cybersecurity analyst for a small corporate network. You are exploring an online bank website page to evaluate the security. So in this lab, your task is to see whether a SQL injection attack is possible on the online bank using the following information. All right, so let's start by testing the bank site. So what we need to do first, copy this and add it over here. Enter, and from here we're going to start testing. So the second instruction says, make an account query for this account. All right, so let's add this number over here and see the result. Okay, so let's click on look up. All right, so we get, we get good day, Olivia. The balance for the account ID is, and she has this much money. So now it says, answer the question one. So let's click on question one. So what's Olivia's account balance? She's got 10,000. 625.79 okay let's minimize this and continue with the second instruction look up for the following account number make a note of the result all right so the first thing is number one let's look up so it says you have not entered the valid account let's try with number two the same thing three the same result four as well okay an entry not found so we can see the result has changed over here let's try with six and the same thing so now it says answer question two so let's go to questions and it says how many digits are required to consider a valid number five or more okay now let's minimize let's move to the next instruction it says try olivia's account number with the following additions okay so let's try this Okay, so let's try and see. So we get Olivia's. Let's try Bob for dog. And the same result. Let's try for the cat. And the same thing. So now it says go and answer question three. So let's click over here. And it says, what can you determine from these inputs? So what I can determine is that the input is not restricted after five digits because I've added multiple words after the five digits and nothing happened. I've got the same result, right? Now let's minimize this and go back to the last question. And it says, try the SQL injection attack using the following account numbers. All right, so let's get, take the formula. Okay, now that we've got the formula over here, it says replace these with any five digits. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got the list lot of clients of this bank. And then it says answer question four. So let's go to question four and it says, what is the account number for Ocean? All right, let's find Ocean in this list. It's over here. So the account number, okay, let's, let me just make sure I copy this correctly. The account number for Ocean is nine triple zero six. Okay, so we've done, we're done with this one. Then it says, try this formula, which is any digits, any five digits and, and, All right, let me copy and paste that one. And I'll paste it over here. So let's replace these by any five digits. For example, let's look. And it says no entry, www-user. So answer question five. What is the name of the website server user? And that is www-user. Now let's go to the lab. And you've got 100.